Richard Reeves spoke with the family behind that emotional moment. He's live with their story. Rich. Yeah, Allison, a great story. Kelly and Mike Power say this was not a planned event. It was almost a spur of the moment decision to come to D.C. to try to get just a glimpse of the Pope. But then suddenly their baby boy, Colby, was in the spotlight with a warm papal embrace. Ever since the Pope kissed my head. While well, one and a half year old Colby Power is back at play in his sterling home. You know, we have butterflies, like just nervous and excited. His parents, Kelly and Mike, are still pleasantly surprised. It's crazy. It, it, it is hard to describe. About this unexpected encounter Wednesday. You know, it's like Francis, meet Colby Francis. <laughs> Hours before, Power and a friend decided to brave the papal crowds with Colby in tow and got a front row spot. We actually had a, a nice, lovely couple that kind of motioned us jokingly, oh, you have a baby, come stand next to us. You and then one of those moments when time stands still. As the Pope rolled up, a security officer came over and without a word. You know, we kind of sat there in, in awe and watched him, um, you know, kiss Colby and, uh, and uh, give him a little blessing. The fact that he just happened to pluck Colby out and give him a big old kiss, you know, I mean, it's just, it's crazy. The powers now reflecting on their own faith and how this meeting with a pontiff will remain with them for the rest of their lives. And people to cry, you know, like, I mean, they see it and they just um, are so moved. Now, the bonus for the powers is that the special moment was captured by the worldwide media. There will be plenty for Kobe to look at when he gets a little bit older. And one little item we want to mention that Kobe's middle name, yes, it is Francis. Mm. Back to you guys. That's perfect. Yeah. What a coincidence. That is perfect. Mm. <laughs> Great story, Rich. Thank you. Well, this could have been a kiss of meteorologist week. Oh, my gosh. It was <laughs> such an was easy so week. Good. I took three days off and <laughs> it was no one missed just me. perfect weather. It was great. Wait, so and now you're back and it's going downhill? I'm back for one day and then I'm off tomorrow. So make a note of that. Hey, let's look outside right now. It is beautiful out there and what a nice, nice way to end the Pope's visit. Temperature now 69 degrees in Reagan National Airport. Winds are out of the northeast at eight miles per hour. The reason why it feels so great out there, the dew point levels low and comfortable in the middle 50s. It's now or our high today made it up to 79 degrees at Reagan National Airport. Average for this time of year is 76, so slightly below average, but thankfully, Nowhere close to record breaking temperatures. 99 set back in 2010. Nothing like that on the way, at least not anytime soon. Temperatures outside this hour, 11 o'clock, 61 at Leesburg, 59 Winchester, the same in Cumberland. Headed a little bit closer toward the Chesapeake Bay, near 70 in Annapolis, 65 Andrews. Fredericksburg now in the upper 50s. Wind the view out just a bit. Cooler temperatures, not really, at least not right now. High pressure just off of the north of us. Low pressure well to the south. That could very well well, bring us shower activity come Saturday and Sunday, along with cooler temperatures for the mid Atlantic. Satellite and radar, it looks like this clear skies, DC are mainly clear skies, clear skies for New York City and Boston, a huge area of high pressure just off to the north of us. But this down here, that could potentially become our big weather maker come Saturday and Sunday, but mainly south of DC for the best chances for showers. High pressure, there it is, right over here. As we head a little bit further down to the south of us, that's where we have the shower activity at this time with our future cast. This is going to take us through the day on Saturday, and then as we move into Saturday afternoon, we could look for breezy, breezy conditions with that area of high pressure to the north that could also keep a lot of the moisture a little bit further to the south of us, and that is good news, especially if outdoor activities plan come Saturday and Sunday. Now next week, we'll warm things up a little bit, so after a cool weekend, a nice change on the way. Here's our forecast as we move through the overnight hours, 11 o'clock temperatures up or 60s overnight temperatures in town will fall into the middle to upper 60s a little bit cooler in our northern western suburbs where 50s not out of the question with the cooler air and we are going to look for our temperatures that are going to slowly slowly rebound as we head through the morning hours tomorrow should be a beautiful sunrise don't think it's going to be as pretty as we had earlier this morning but temperatures in the 60s and as we head through the day tomorrow highs will be in the middle to upper 70s with that cool down on the way for the upcoming weekend here's a look at the seven day outlook shows highs only around 71 on Saturday, 70 on Sunday. If you like the warmer temperatures, warmer air, I do. I'm not ready to give up summer quite yet, even though today the first full day of autumn will be back into the upper 70s by Monday near 80 by Tuesday of next week. Yeah. So overall, we had a great stretch of days. We need the rain. A lot of the trees we losing do. the leaves early. Yeah. 
too early. Yeah, not a bad looking seven day forecast. No, no, looks pretty I like good. It. Okay, right. thank you. You know what else we need? We need some wind. We do. Yeah, that's what we need. Don't know if we got any though. Nah. <laughs> Did we? <laughs> Did we? The bear of bad news.